The locals call this the witch's bar. It is a favorite spot for out-of-work cod fishermen or for those too old to labor on the mudflats. Most afternoons, they gather to play cards with old friends and share stories about an unlimited bounty that suddenly disappeared. Later in the day, perhaps after a few drinks, their thoughts become more wistful as they think about how the collapse of a fishery changed the very heart and soul of Avero. From a thriving seaport to nothing more than a tourist attraction. Nothing more than a city of memories. On some days, the old timers may even think about relatives and friends. Those who emigrated 3,000 miles to the west, to the United States to a city called New Bedford, Massachusetts. They came here by the tens of thousands. And for over three centuries, Portuguese whalers and cod fishermen did well. To an outsider, New Bedford still looks like a thriving city. But if you take a closer look, it soon becomes clear that it's anything but thriving. The members of New Bedford's United Fishermen's Club have much in common with the patrons of the Witches' Bar back in Aveiro. They speak the same language and celebrate with great passion an independent way of life. Unfortunately, they too are victims of the collapse of the cod fishery. New Bedford has one of the highest rates of unemployment in the country. Many fishermen are angry and often ask each other in frustrated candor, how could we have ever let the cod disappear? Dave Martins is looking for answers. Dave is a research biologist with the University of Massachusetts. He often goes out with local fishermen, trying to find out exactly what went wrong. We go out and measure and tag fish and release them into the ocean. It's a critical that we can understand more about where fish travel, how far they travel, and as well as the, the growth of fish. Ultimately, scientists discovered the answer. The fishermen of New Bedford were simply too good at catching fish. I think no one really realized that uh, cod were going to collapse and stay down for so long. If the water wasn't there hiding all these things that we're doing, a lot of us would really be appalled. Just as we were appalled when we learned about the fact that the buffalo herds were being destroyed, the fact that the flocks of passenger pigeons and waterfowl that darkened the skies were no more. It's the same exact mentality. It's just moved away from the land into the sea. But what we sometimes forget is that the impact of losing a fishery goes well beyond economics. All too often, when a fishing fleet shuts down, an entire community dies with it.